Alright class, we'll be going through uh, GA20 in this uh, video. Okay, the, the main feedback for this GA, if you're not doing well, right, is number one, the reasons are not given correctly. So later during the GA, please look through the reasons and write down the corrections, yeah? Okay, the second reason why you might not be doing well is the vertices are not matching. Okay, so meaning for example, question one, I need to prove uh, triangle VWZ and WVY are congruent. Your vertex V must correspond to W. Okay, in a triangle, your second uh, vertex, which is W, must correspond to V. Uh, similarly, Z must correspond to W in all your working. Okay, the orientation of how you write matters. Okay, for the first question, some of you didn't listen carefully in class and you didn't prove these two triangles and you prove other triangles that was already stated in the G8 as seen here. Alright, so now please listen up of how we can uh, prove this triangle. Uh -huh. Okay, so first thing we do is uh, we have to decide which property, which test to use. Okay, for this one, we will use the SAS test. Alright, so intuitively, let's uh, highlight the triangle we want to prove that are congruent first. Okay, the first one is VWZ, okay, which is the red triangle we see here. And the second triangle we need to prove is this green triangle as seen in the diagram here. Alright, so since we want to use SAS as seen on my answer key, lah, we're going to use uh, VW, okay, which we all know it is a common side for both triangles. Okay, and we know this angle is equal to this angle because why? We know that VWX is an isosceles triangle. Okay, and the last thing we're going to use is the S, correct? And this uh, S is actually the long one, right? Which is in this case WZ and V Y okay and similarly the reason later you cannot say it's just given because in the question it's only V X and W X to be uh, equal X Z and X Y to be equal okay so without further ado let's formalize the proof lah, huh? okay the first thing I know is uh, V W okay we're using our SAS test V W should be equals to W Correct, correspond to the uh, correct vertices. Okay, and this reason we actually say it is a common side. Alright, it's not given because in the diagram they never put these two strokes here. Okay, so with that we have an S done. So the angle here we know the angle is actually W V Z is equal to angle W V Y. Okay, the reason is not given, but because triangle VWX is an isosceles triangle. Okay, do not just write uh, isosceles triangle because it's quite vague. As we don't know which uh, isosceles triangle you're talking about, there's two isosceles triangle here. Okay, and the last one, the last S. Okay, we know that uh, WZ is actually equals to my VY. Alright, and again, the reason is not given, but rather, you need to explain further. Okay, how do you explain? In the question, we didn't know Vx is equal to Wx, correct? And Zx is equal to Wx. Therefore, the sum of them, Vx plus Xx must be equal to V... Sorry, hold on. This is wrong, huh? This shouldn't be Xx. This should be Vx... So let me rewrite this nicer again. So W. So we will have WX plus XZ must be equal to VX plus XY. Okay, that will be the formal reason. And some of you throughout the GN, there's no conclusion. So how do we conclude? As you know, we see that triangle VWZ is congruent to triangle WVY. Okay, and the reason is we are using the AS, sorry, SAS. SAS property. Okay, with that, we will go on to uh, question two. But before we go on to question two, right, uh, one thing to point out some of you in your reason here for the isosceles triangle here, okay, you use angle in the same segment, there's no circle here. So, angle in the same segment is a property of a circle, not a triangle. Remember that, yeah. Alright, for question 2, the main issue with uh, you not getting the full credit, right, is the vertices again. Huh? 
for 2a, we are supposed to name a triangle that is congruent to ADQ. Note that here, the angle in reference is the smaller, uh, the bigger angle first, correct or not? So here, common mistake is uh, people recognize it, oh, okay, the triangle should be the CBP. Okay, by your orientation, when you write it, you may write a PCB, a BPC, or therefore, uh, it's not given the credit. Okay, the vertices must match. So since A is a bigger angle, I'm going to match it to my C. Alright, and then uh, what is the next one? Uh, D. Okay, so D is the smaller angle, so it will be CB, and the last one, 90 degrees, CBP. Yeah, okay, that will be the answer for part one. For part two, uh, you're supposed to state the reason here. Okay, uh, some of you attempted to use the RHS. Okay, but your RHS will fail you where? Because here, I do not know if AQ is actually equals to PC, or neither do I know if DQ is equals to PB. Alright, in that case, we can use, alright, the A as a property, because this is the angle. Alright, I have another angle that's equal, and of course, in the parallelogram, right? Okay, the opposite sides are equal okay so the technique we're going to use here is we're going to use our sas property i'm uh, sorry asa property okay so let's start with the first uh, angle which is the easiest angle which is the 90 degree okay so i know that angle aqd must be equals to angle b no c pb Okay, this one you can write given because it's stated in the question earlier part, right? So we got the A already and the side we will use uh, AD must be equals to my CB. Alright, and this will say that the opposite sides of parallelogram are equal. Okay. And with the last S, uh, which is an angle here we're going to use, we're going to use angle D A Q. Okay, vertices, remember the orientation of vertex, your vertices matters. So if I write D A Q, it's going to be C B P. I'm sorry, B C P. Okay, so D A Q, B C P. And the reason is because these are alternate angles. Okay, so with that, uh, your conclusion you need to write uh, state the reason so for part two it is uh, not a complete kind of proof we need we just need to state the reasons that's it for part two lah, huh? okay then we go to part B name another pair of uh, congruent triangles okay most of you can do this quite well it's the vertices that you need to be mindful of okay so that the ADC is congruent to uh, CBA or we know that triangle DQC is congruent to triangle BPA Alright, so remember again the vertices must all match Alright, we come to the last question for your GA20 Okay, we are supposed to prove that um, Triangle AFE is congruent to triangle BGF Alright, so a uh, common mistake people here when they attempt to use our property is they try to assume that AF is actually equals to BG. Okay, technically they are equal because subsequently we'll prove they are congruent but you cannot assume AF to be equals to BG because it's not stated in the question, yeah? Okay, that leads up with, um, we know that this is a 90 degree which most of y'all can state but the reason is not given correctly. Alright, the reason you should tell me is that uh, ABCD is a square, alright? And uh, what else? We know that AE, as stated in the question, is equals to my F, uh, BF. Alright, and we see internally there is another square. Alright, highlighted in blue and we know in the square all sides are equal. Alright, so we should be using like what is written already here. We should use RHS. Okay, so with that, let's uh, formalize the proof. Okay, the R stands for the right angle first, right? So we know that uh, angle F. A E is equals to my angle G B F. Okay, and the reason you cannot just write given. You must state that this is actually A B C D is a square. Therefore, all the angles are 90 degrees, yeah? 
Okay, so I got my right angle. Next thing, we go on to the H, which is hypotenuse. We know that Fe is actually equals to my GF. Again, this is not given. You need to tell me that Fg, H, E is a square. Therefore, the sides are all equal. Okay, uh, you want to add on, therefore, the sides are equal. Nah, no problem. Okay, and lastly is our one more side, which is already stated in the question. We know that AE is equals to my BF. And this one, you can write your favorite. Yes, given. And therefore, ending with a conclusion that says that, therefore, triangle uh, AFE is congruent to triangle BGF. And don't forget your property. This is the RHS property. Alright, so if you're still not very confident about this topic, do go and try the self-mark, okay, and uh, you can consult me when I'm back.